<sighs> Wouldn't it be nice if we were on time? Ben would be less stressed than I'd be. Here on time. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, are we a little bit late? Lad, lad, look at my hand. That's like you right, me calm, fucking mad anxiety then. Calm yourself down. You calm yourself right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. It is episode 24, I believe, from Inside Out. I am here as always. My name is Zaid Algami, and I am with my co-host. He's the Drake to my bell. It's Bam Roberts. Hello. Hello. Are you actually quite quite nervous right now? What, what, what's, what's going now on? Now I am, like because of all what basically what just happened was Zaid rocked into the, the 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 chat at like three minutes two or something like that, and then there was just a big noise and we couldn't figure out what it was. So I've had to like get out another hard, uh, another interface so my mic actually works. Can you hear me? Am I like a normal? Am I too loud? Here? Yeah, you're not. No, no, you're a normal it's level. normal, is it? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about Yeah, right. you're a normal level now. Bro, can we just talk about something? The fact that you watched wrestling this weekend. I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's sick. Yeah, it's probably a one-off, though. I just want... I just... I was there for Stone Cold, and he didn't show up, so... Ah, uh, never mind, eh? Better things. Better things have happened. Right, uh, this is what I have to do, as per usual. Um, you need to hit the subscribe button. You need to press like. You need to join this family. We're calling the insiders, right? You can also do that by going onto our Patreon. The link is in the description below. And as always, bam. Is it? We are hydrated by. Spotted breath. <laughs> That's why the other interface isn't working. Uh, we're going to be joined by Ella Rose Sharp. She's back. Uh, but before she comes through, uh, Bam, did you see the um, the unpopular opinion that uh, we put up on our story earlier? No. Nope. So the unpopular opinion was whether or not we should just keep times the way they are, not change the clocks. Because a lot of people have been complaining. Uh, I, did, I did see that, actually, yeah. I did, yeah. I did vote on it. You did vote. What did you vote for? Because the two options were summertime or wintertime. Of summertime, course, obviously. Obviously summertime. We get more daylight. Within the first 14 votes, yeah, it was 50-50 still. People That's love the winter. Like, what? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Like, this, the days are shorter in the winter anyway. Like, this whole thing doesn't make sense to me. Like, I, I heard it's to do with, like, the farmers. So they've got more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's apparently to do with farming. Just, suck it off. Like, just let's just stay where, like, the days are longer. It's so much better, like, finishing work and it's still being, like, bright outside. I think it's to make us all miserable. That's what I think. Because we're all miserable in the winter. But I'm coming in with a conspiracy theory right off the bat. Where did the, uh, where is it at the moment? Let me take a look, actually. Uh, 61% summertime, uh, 39% wintertime. Yeah, you see, people still want it. Crazy. People still want it. The, the problem is, yeah is wintertime does have like that really nice feeling to it and people do like it being dark so they can turn lights on and all that kind of rubbish but i'm summer baby right in the chat right now uh, and just says hi Cameron says hi uh angela you said say share your screen i'm sending you a pic on instagram uh, oh angela, yeah, yeah, I, have, yeah. I know about this i need to okay i need to uh i need to break some news that's gonna hurt you again you probably already know but let's break on here we unfortunately are not playing in birmingham uh on friday uh we're going to put the news on our story this evening um but yeah uh um, the the headline band had to cancel shows look that means it's completely out of our hands uh when a promoter and a headline band goes this isn't going ahead anymore uh that then falls on us to go okay well it doesn't fall on us i mean we can't do anything so that just falls all around us uh which sucks really but we are in the process of booking more shows and uh we had some pretty cool news yesterday about a show that's close to me so i'm looking forward to that one uh bam this is going to be the first show the first uh big big bristol show we play together are you looking forward to this can i i'm allowed to say bristol right it's, it's not going to give too much away could it be anything really when when is it like without saying it on the podcast is it like it's next month it's very close to today's date but it's not is that still going ahead wait there i i thought we had something different on a certain date at the beginning of may in 
Bristol. No. Mm-mm. no. That's not happening now. Like no the other thing. No nobody luck. <laughs> no, not okay, no, that's so, not so, happening. so that's not happening now. No. Okay. <laughs> To, to, to be honest, if that was happening, we should have we should have announced it by now, right? Well, that's what I thought. Like I, I saw yeah. McCarthy yesterday, and I was like, I'm sure that there's something going on. No, there. no, 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 that's not going on that day. Uh, but we have got something else. And by the way, Bam, you're going to be playing on a boat. Did you know that? <laughs> I did not know that. Is, yeah, it's it, a boat. Wait, is that what like? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I, gonna say I, yeah I know. Yeah, you can't say. Is it? Is it the only thing we've been talking about recently? Then, like the yeah yeah okay on a boat yeah is it yeah, on that on boat, boat that we went to that time yeah we went... oh no yeah. <sighs> do you not feel safe on there <laughs> i know i know you don't is there a stage feel... where's the stage uh, we the the the, the bit oh, that you that... didn't see is it downstairs like the the basement bit? yeah right yeah it's huge, it's huge down there yeah no we did see it we looked we looked over the balcony yeah so that's that's going to be happening um so yeah, I'm I'm very much looking forward to that one. Uh, I need to put in our little group here as well about com- people coming on to this right now. So, uh, and and wants to send me something. Have you already sent it? By the way, I I haven't seen this. By the way, I, I like she was gonna send it to me earlier, and I just said just send it to Zaid during the podcast. Is it is it your nudes? Because I've already seen it. <laughs> that's my that's my response <laughs> to that. What am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> um is it your nudes come no, on i i think i think she said she's made something she she said she's... me something she she said me something earlier on in the week um on instagram that she'd made for the show and then i was like about the show <laughs> yeah i know which obviously i know um i'm i'm i'm, I'm to be honest to be honest i'm i'm like the reason I'm pissed, pissed as well is like we rehearsed and we traveled up and I thought, right, at least we're going to get two shows in the bag for 2024. And then boom. two whole shows for 2024. I know Lucky probably us. two more than we played last year. I feel like, <laughs> right. So let me, uh, let me see this right now. I'm not going to share this on the screen yet, by the way. And if this is, uh, well, if this is rude, no. <laughs> so it's not happening. I don't want to get demonetized. You're going to see it before me now though. Yeah, I'm okay with seeing it before. Yeah. I just want to know what it is. Okay. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna send it. You can send it through. Uh, before that, um, she said sending that over now. So Ella doesn't know this yet, but we did this thing the other week where we ranked X, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. And we were like, we were like, is the guys ones of these? Turns out there's loads. <laughs> so <laughs> where, where did you get these from? <laughs> the internet. I had oh, to okay, kind of so... sidestep. I, I I kinda had to sidestep some of the uh the more incelly ones. Yeah. Urgh, women. Urgh. Yeah. Um but what's really funny as well, so when we were played, um oh, I've been sent it. Can you send it to the band account? I'm n I, I haven't got I haven't got my account on the desktop. Uh so if you the can send it to the, the band the band one, yeah. The band one, yeah. The band, the band one lab band. Um, send it, send it to that. Right. By the way, Catherine says, "I think I know the boat you're talking about." Catherine, can you get to that boat easily? I'm pumped about this show. By the way, can the we, can we week. come on? Can our entrance music just be on? Be I'm on a boat by Lonely Island because I've got, I've so, got. We've we've tried that once. We we put it on our backing tracks for a show once when um it was in like 2018, and yeah. uh, we didn't sort of compensate of how live the track was compared to the backing tracks. So we we're on side of the stage. We press play. And the song bum, 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 comes on, lad. It was so loud, and we was just like, "I can't believe this is happening." And it was the whole song playing, and then we came on stage. Oh my god! Um, I think do it, but uh, it was overplayed on that boat when it first came out. Oh, uh, okay, right. all right, okay. What else could what else could there be? Boats and hoes. I, I guess anything, that one's anything that one's... boat themed. Um. Oh, this is sick. You know what? We've been sent. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Okay. Let me. Uh, that's awesome. All right. Let's get this. Can you can you send in the thing that you sent me as well, please? What do you mean? Just, I'm going to show it on here. No, there's two. I think there's two things that she wanted to show. 
There's two. Well, I, I don't know if she wanted to show it on the show. There was something she made, and then there was something else that I haven't seen, which is obviously what you've just seen now. Make make Bam mention in the Lonely Island in every episode of thing. <laughs> that was from Beth. Uh, and I can try to get to Bristol. Can't promise anything, though. I think you're going to want to get to this. Did this, I talk this, about this... Like, Sorry. Did I talk about the Lonely Island last week? I did, didn't I? I talked about Michael Bolton. Oh, my God, you did? Yeah. Go on, sorry. Is, um, this show. Is it just, is this, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. I can't mention it. I can't tell you what it is, but you don't want to miss it uh, is where I'm at right now. Uh, also, can we talk about the cool thing that happened to us earlier as well? Can we talk about that yet? Or do we do we leave that? I don't know. I'm still so blown away by that phone call you gave me earlier. That was, was, that was cool. I was tattooing and like Simon could hear like what you were saying. And I was just like, what and then he was like i'm me as well <laughs> like i've i found it from inside i'm me as well yeah funny enough it's not to do with the band <laughs> yeah i thought i thought so, so yeah all yeah. oh, right we've, we've been sent two things okay okay right all right so the first one all right cool nice hey all right i'm gonna i'm gonna share my screen with you right now right now what what's this one yeah cool i'll share this one right now as well so here's the first thing right there yeah so i've seen that do you want to zoom in yeah so yeah, that's cool i'm angela I, I can't make stuff like this it's so <laughs> he's got like prince charles or king charles fingers yeah am i I know, of course, for the audio listeners, they probably don't get what's going on here. What are my fingers like? Sausages. Are they, are they actually? Have I just got big palms. You've got like basketball player hands. Yeah, I know. I know. Which, to be fair, I did play a lot of basketball growing up. So I got oh, well, the calluses sense, as well. Look at, look at those calluses. Oh, you dirty bastard. Get them off look the screen. At those. <laughs> look at those. That's <laughs> disgusting. What's that from? You don't do anything? Weights weight training just, just awful but now but now i can literally like slap I, it, like if you want a melon opening i can just slap it open <laughs> that's literally me there right um i will uh stop sharing that one and go to this one instead this one is my favorite oh sick nice yeah what's this on the bottom what's that he's a cat i think it's a little patch isn't it that's sick. Um, so basically, Angela, if you want to wear that out without us suing you, uh, you just have to pay us monthly. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay with a tenner. What about you, Bam? Do you know? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you know when yeah. we first started the band? I think all of us had those made. Like we had like patches on the backs, like T birds. And I think only me and I think me only me and Simon wore them for a little bit. I can see, I can see you two wearing these. And then instead, I can like, see Booth not. Yeah, I can't. I don't think he had one on his, but he used to wear a denim jacket live, and I, I just used to wear a, like a, a really baggy jumper. So I think we ended up just spraying the logo on all of our clothes at one point. Oh, I've just realised as well. Audio listeners, they're probably thinking, "What the fuck is going on?" Oh yeah, so, yeah. Angela, oh, yeah. <laughs> Angela has been very, very nice. Uh, she has made uh, a really cool from inside bracelet and necklace. Uh, which again, I don't know how you do it, uh, especially when you make it look like uh, you bought it. And then, because I remember doing shit like that, this in school and I just couldn't get it right. Uh, and then she's put our From Inside logo um, on the back of a black denim jacket, which uh, that's just like, I need to get myself one of those. Circles are hard to do as well, so you've done a good job there. Oh yeah, that's a good question. How have you done that? That's yeah. patch. Is this I... all patch stuff? No, I'm going to say that's, um, oh, what are they called? Those pens. Uh, in, like fabric know. pens? Is fabric pens a thing? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I they are, know. but I can't think. I can't think. Pol polka pens? That's what, to me, that's what I would say it looks like. But it could be a fabric pen. All right. We've been on here for approximately 15 minutes, and you still haven't said oh, what it's I a patch. to say to me. Sorry, it's a patch, apparently. Oh, yeah. Uh, you... Posca pens, not polka pens. That's right, yeah, Posca pens. Um, what I, what you want me to say to you, um, how are you doing, friend, buddy? Eh? Wow, some friend. The what? I said, wow, some friend, eh? 
What's what's today? What's 10th, today? Tenth of April. Not exactly always the date, but of this oh, thing. is it? Is it the end of uh, Ramadan? Which means it's. That means what? That's why you were bloody late. You were scoffing your face before this podcast. That's why, isn't it? I've been seeing family today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what is it today? You can Google it if you want to. Is it Jesus' it's... birthday? It's not. No, it's not the King's birthday. Oh, okay. As George would call it. <laughs> it's Angela's helping you. Oh, hang on. Eid. Yeah. What, what, what? Okay, go on. Enlighten, enlighten us who don't know what Eid is. So Eid is a celebration at the end of the month of Ramadan. Of course, we follow uh, the lunar calendar. So the month of Ramadan uh, is the ninth, ninth month in the Islamic calendar. And the end of that goes into the next month. But this very first day, Actually, the first three days is the celebration. So this is Eid. So you say Eid Mubarak, or um, as the Gammons say it, get out of my country. Is that uh, is that what you said in the chat earlier? Yeah. Oh, I, said, I, I saw 1111. I yeah. said Eid Mubarak, my white brothers. Right. Okay. I wonder what that was about. Like, I, I caught it. but I, I, No, I caught it earlier, and I was just like, I thought you was just, like, saying some nice, like, little, a little prayer to us or whatever. <laughs> you, know, you know, like... <laughs> Do you know, like when you wake me up in the morning, you like you come over, you tap me and put voodoo on me, and and then like you give me like a kiss on the cheek or whatever, and then you leave the room, and I'm just like, what the hell's just happened? Do you know, like, what's that? What? I don't know if you, I don't know if you're joking or not. Do you dream about me coming into your room because I never tap you or yeah, say anything? You, to you. you have definitely done that before, a hundred percent. Tapped you? Yeah, you like do like a thing where you like you like you like touch my shoulder when you say it. I was joking about the kiss on the cheek, but. Wouldn't go on this, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm, by the way, I'm being 100% with you right now. I've never come close to your bed on a morning. That's I'm such a lie. Well, it's probably the afternoon. But, like, that's such a lie. Like, you've definitely, like, I know you have. Like, you've come over. You've done it, like, three times in, like, the last year. You come over, you say something, you tap me. And then I wake up like, oh, what the hell was that? And then you shut the door after yourself. No. There's no way I've dreamt that. Not at all. <laughs> I have no. You no. You're no, fucking you're with me. No. You're fucking no, with I'm me. No, I'm not. There's, you're missing. No that's why way. I was. Like, you know when you said it, I was like, "Is is he being sarcastic?" Like I'm I've, being. I, I've said this in the I past am here though, and you've been like, "Yeah, yeah." Because like again, I thought you were joking. Is it like, a thing? I'm, like, is this something? I, that you right. do? Where's Beth? Beth does, does he does he does he say something to you and tap you on the shoulder in the mornings? Go on, hands up. Hands up! So I'm not I'm not crossing any fingers or anything like that. I'm telling you right now. I have never I've never come close. I open the door. I'll say something stupid like, "Wakey, wakey, hands off, snakey," before I walk in, so you're not touching yourself, right? And then I look in, and that's all I do. No, I'm not. I don't I do believe not, this. At I all. have never come close to your bed. Okay, all right. Well, we'll agree to disagree. I'm a little bit. Sh I'm a little bit surprised. That you think I've come over. He told me he does put spells you. on me. There we go. Yeah. He told me he does put spells <laughs> on you. <laughs> but he doesn't want you to know. <laughs> Beth, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Because sometimes when Beth says says things, yeah, I feel like you 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 think it's serious. No, she's always on my side. That's why. Beth's yeah, so, always on you, my side. You do understand that she's part joking as no, well, like yeah, most of the no, time. I get that this here is a joke, like in the comments. Okay, it's, cool. It's to go not... You've ruined the joke now, Zaid. Come on. No, I'm a little bit worried that you think I come over and touch you. Listeners, be careful in case he does put some sort of spell on you during the oh, podcast. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I put a spell on you. So um, um what's going on with your lighting today? Can we um can we change that? Right. Change, so no, you know. no. No, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, I'm not touching or changing or doing anything. So anytime it does that, it turns blue. Now, the reason I only got my phone thing set up, it's I, the camera and all that kind of stuff is still downstairs from when I filmed our set the other day. Um, by the way, can't see Booth throughout the whole thing because there was a crystal, there was a disco ball up on the ceiling. So you can't see him, but, but me and you look great. Oh, so nice. that happened. Um, by the way, Catherine said, you'd have to give me the date so i can try and get off work well that's something i can't do uh because then i'm giving it away uh and uh laura thompson says ew <laughs> and caitlin andrews says hey you see caitlin you've just been outdone 
because Laura came through with the AO and you just went, hey, sort yourself out, girl. Sort yourself out. Right. I'm going to I'm going to type in to find it again. So it was it was, it was men's X. So men's X for women. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to tell these to Ella. And we'll see if she's ever done. We'll see if she's ever done any of them. Kaylin said, haha, I'm sorry. What? Don't apologize. I was just being a dickhead. We ain't um, no horses. Right <laughs> and she came through. Hello. There you go. Love it. <laughs> Love it. A little bit nicer than that. Right. What have you done with your week, by the way? Because uh, uh I well, uh, what as, as in like week. as in after the weekend or the last seven days? Well, I already told you what I was doing this weekend, which was uh, awesome. So I'll quickly jump in with that whilst you think about what you need to say. Should, should I do that quickly? If you want it. So Attack Pro Wrestling was the uh, wrestling promotion set up by a guy you may know as Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne actually wrestled at WrestleMania uh, this weekend, which was awesome to see. Uh, Pete Dunne set it up with Eddie Dennis, who used to be a former writer at the WWE, which I got to interview, which was nice. And um, Mark Andrews, who used to be in NXT UK. Um, so they did a wrestling event this weekend. And this is the cool thing I need to tell you. Right. So Saturday, there were at two different venues. Saturday was a smaller venue. Yeah. Yep. So I went in, I was filming and I saw Sean from the blackout mm -hmm. said, hello, blah, blah, blah. Now, Sean was with this little kid. Now, I don't know what relationship could be nephew or son. I'm, I didn't ask, but the little kid was like, kind of, it was, it was, it was really cute. I think he would have been like 10 or 11, this boy. And, um, he, he was really into it. And there's this thing called the 24 seven championship. Now, remember in the attitude area, the hardcore title, you could pin anyone at any time as long as you had a referee. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the second day, the second night we're in walkabout in Cardiff. Yeah. Bigger venue, more people. So the current 24 champion, can't remember her name, comes into the ring and he starts mouthing off. And anyway, someone comes out to fight him, wrestle him. And then out of nowhere, the kid. So they must have pre-done this. The kid that Sean Smith was with gets in the ring and pins him. <laughs> and he is the Attack Pro Wrestling new 24-7 champion. And you should have seen Sean's face. He was so happy. <laughs> so I so I messaged him uh afterwards. And because I could because Sean kept on looking at the belt, and I think they're gonna post the pictures and stuff like that. But Sean kept on looking at the belt and I was like, I was like, uh, I hope they're not planning your heel turn. Because imagine this, yeah. Imagine Sean Smith pinning a kid for a championship belt. Book it. Book it now. <laughs> uh, and then the other thing uh, I wanted to say as well is I did speak to Shawnee Boy from the Blackout. Um, they're going to do Slam Dunk. Yeah. And at the moment, there's no current plans to do anything else. Which is sad, really. Uh, but he was quite honest about it. He said that the band, that everyone's busy. They've got jobs. They've got this. They've got families. Um, so, yeah, if you're planning on going to Slam Dunk, please watch the Blackout Live because it might be the last time you get to see them properly. Um, everyone in the chat, uh, doing it. Angela said, I saw that video. Yeah, oh, if they've posted the video, amazing. I'll have to, I'll have to show it to Bam at some point. Um, but, yeah, that was my weekend. What was yours like? I was supposed to be thinking, wasn't I? I was listening to you. Um, what did we do on the weekend? So we played a show down London. Uh, plenty of driving. Uh, Saturday. Went out. Uh, do you know what? I've actually done... I, I went out Saturday and then I've done nothing up until yesterday. But yesterday was like the first proper day that the studio was open. So like all of us were tattooing in there. So that was yesterday and today. So yeah, that's all I've really done. I spent two days in bed. <laughs> after after the Saturday night, you spent two days in bed. Well, you know, well, not like I wasn't like lying in the dark, and I was up, but I was just like <laughs> doing nothing. Oh, actually, I was just editing our reels. That's what I, I pretty much just did. Yeah, they're really good. I love yeah. the Harry Potter one. What can I say? Hey, man, good. Like, this is awesome. We need to also, because we did that thing, you know, where YouTubers take pictures of themselves as reaction things or whatever. We need to actually put like a few of the more long form 
short bits. I love the more of the short form. Yeah, content. it just means I've I'd... got to, I've got to rewatch like twenty five four episodes of. <sighs> no, the of, later of... ones will be the better ones. <laughs> the later ones. Remember that? Remember that episode we did with that girl called Ella? Fuck me. I do look like a substitute teacher in that, and that's what I went for. So funny. Quite, I, when I was I'm editing that, I was like, what are you dressed as? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my quiz substitute teacher look. So uh, do you like what I've gone for today? I've gone for, is he wearing anything underneath that hoodie? The answer is yeah. You just can't see it. Um, where is she, by the way? She's two minutes late. So I will, before we do anything else. Let's not talk about people chat. being late. That's all I'm saying. Let's not bring up people being late. Because we're both. Was I, I was going to say, <laughs> I think I was here. But I think I was here before eight o'clock. So uh, you can't, you can't say doesn't, shit. That doesn't. Um, matter. Yeah, it does. Right. One thing I need to tell everybody, uh, if you're on this right now, um, hit the subscribe button or um, bam tries to hunt you. It's not as scary as it sounds, to be honest. It's actually quite what? cute, um, what? but he'll come after you uh, sometimes wielding a knife. Uh, or he just showed you his really shit finger that happened to him on um, Friday. Oh, the other thing about that. Is, I, I, I was waiting. I was giving you. I was giving you the the segue Sorry. to it, but I, for, I, yeah. I completely forgot. Do you want to see it? Uh, yeah, go on and show show me. It's okay now. Like like it's just yellow. Yeah. But uh, I've I've actually got a. I thought you was gonna ask me about it, so I actually got a picture prepared. Um, <laughs> like a this is one I made earlier kind of vibe. This is how bad my finger was. Ah, uh, okay. For the audio listeners, um, it looks it looks like how do I describe that? It looks like <laughs> it looked like salami for being honest it with you. Bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be being quiet. You haven't been introduced yet. That's right. No one can hear her. Jeez. Oh, can no one hear her right now? No one can hear her. Now. Oh, I'm, right. oh, good, good. Uh, and then the, the last thing I need to do is say, uh, hit the like button or again, yeah, Bam tries to hunt you down. Right. Let's introduce our guest of the evening. Um, she first came to our screens during a Harry Potter quiz that Bam cheated on. Um, she also is involved in the court case against one Brian Stars. He's trying to... Um, He's trying to take us to court for harassment. I'm just trying to sue him for being himself. Um, no one should be able to look like that and create content. Um, and what else is she? She went to a feminist event on Friday and laughed early. Got all the questions in the world about that one. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ella. Woo! Hello. 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 Right. The feminist event. Oh. Can, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yeah. What is a feminist? Because I believe I'm one. Until I see what people think it is, that I'm like, um, I'm, no, yeah, I'm I feel, I feel like we're all we're all feminists, really, unless you're a dickhead. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So Bam's feminists. not what ba Bam's not a feminist because he's a dickhead. So tell me, tell exactly. me a little bit more about what it, it, it entails being one. <sighs> I think well, it's 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 different for everyone, to be honest, isn't it? Different for. For me, I think, I don't know, it's just kind of like knowing your worth, knowing kind of, I don't fucking know, you've put me on the spot See, with this one. Exactly, I don't even exactly. class me this myself is... as a fucking girl, or I do, but I'm like, I'm the worst this, excuse of a girl. This so is it, like... this is it, this is it right here. This is what I wanted to get to, because there should be an easy answer. You're a feminist if you want equal rights for you as a woman with everybody else in the world okay yep. that's what i'm putting it down to that's where we're going with and also <laughs> um you're a feminist if you support other women who are also doing the same okay so people don't come at me with your weird 2024 ideology of people should be better than other people because of this no everyone's the same get along with it and get along with each other my next thing um why did you do that to bam's finger on friday yeah <laughs> Can we talk about what Bam did to me instead? Um, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> God. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll tell you my side of the story. I'm upstairs packing things away. Yeah, <laughs> from the show. By the way, if you didn't realize after the show, gone red. We, we just now. kind of we, we pack stuff up and blah blah blah. And make sure things are all safe. Boof! Our guitarist comes running up the stairs. 
and just shouts at me. Bam's just swilled Ella. And I was like, it does that mean what I think it means? Because we have this ongoing joke about, like, we'll just joke about it. We won't do it. But just pouring a drink over someone. Now, I <laughs> thought, in my head, I thought, okay, he's just attempt. He's just jokingly done it and it got a little bit over you. Ella, what happened? So, to be honest, I don't even know because it happened so quickly. But it, <laughs> we were just chatting and... Bam's like, I'm very you animated. Even, when you I'm weren't, drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but you weren't even that drunk. Uh. You weren't even, t- t- to my knowledge, anyway. <laughs> but you were, you were chatting, and you were very like, you were gesturing a lot. And as he was kind of like explaining where the fuck he was talking about, he just goes all down my front, mm-hmm. half a pint, just goes straight down me. <laughs> Oh, like to your face, like, like no, no like, like to my chest, yeah. like it goes okay. like all down my body, and oh, I, like we both just kind no. of. Mm-hmm. I can't believe that just fucking happened, but Amazing. it was funny. I wasn't like absolutely love it, love that I did it was, that. It was funny. <laughs> it was a good icebreaker. It was the first time me and Bam met. Like it was yeah. great. It was fine. <laughs> Bam. Bam. How much did you have to drink? <sighs> Do you know what? Like, I didn't think I was that drunk, but then, like, we're all, we're all friends here. Come on. Like, we had to rush to come onto stage, and I did neck. And, like, I was obviously we'd, we'd been drinking for a few hours, but it was like we're on stage in like three minutes. And I was like, sh- I was in the pub down the road. So we've all like walked. <laughs> I had to like neck a bottle of recording and whatever I had. And, but I think because we'd like rushed really quickly, the alcohol just hit me. So by the time I was on stage, I was like, I've got a buzz on here. Like, I'm all, I'm all right here. And then obviously, <laughs> and then obviously we kept on drinking afterwards. I I didn't think I was that drunk, but then I don't know. There's like, I don't remember certain things. So I was like, maybe I was. I would like to say that, well, one, I'm sorry, obviously, that I did that. And I definitely apologize <laughs> for the night, I think. But um, <laughs> and two, I'm going to say what happened was I was just talking and someone just walked past me, not my elbow, and it just happened. What can I say? Uh, Ella, <laughs> do you accept the apology or I mean if I didn't this the rest of the podcast would be quite awkward wouldn't it yeah and I'd love it I like, <laughs> it. I, I like, I like a bit of tension though I think it'd be funny <laughs> I love a yes. bit of awkwardness I, I accept the apology I, to be fair you accepted it on the night let's be honest I did I did yeah yeah uh, I thought as much um you can can I just need to know because I need to wrap my head around it because I didn't actually there's two things I remember from that like uh meeting you on Friday. Number one, um the kebab place was really good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat uh, either. Yeah, that was really nice. And the second thing is um you were showing me a video from this feminist event. Was there a naked person on stage? Oh yeah, no, there was a naked person on stage. There was multiple naked ladies on stage, yeah. Multiple. Yeah, like okay. probably about. Why? Um, so it's this artist called Sophie T, and sh- to be fair, like she's an like an amazing person, artist, um, and she is basically she she paints female bodies. Oh, okay, right. I'm getting it now. So she paints like. What I what, what she says as well, normal women bodies. So all different shapes and sizes, different colours, like you know, stretch marks, everything, like yeah. normal women bodies. Um, and she put this event on, this show at the London Palladium, and she did some painting and she spoke about, you know, the struggles of women's lives I guess and just kind of being like body like confident and self-love and all that good shit um but she also had all these women that came on um that was all like completely painted um they had like uh like nude like briefs on um so like they weren't completely naked but like naked enough yeah to yeah um, but yeah, they all just then came out, um, loaded, like I said, loads of different body types, 
loads of different colors it was great and it was it was just like a really cute show to be fair but it was like I had no clue what I was like I just wasn't expecting like within five minutes to see <laughs> bits. <laughs> I was like, I was just gonna, this is going to be like a really cute show. And it was just like, <laughs> bring on. And then whatever, I can't remember her name, bless her. But just, there was just, oh, tits. My God. By the way, by the way, for no one who's seen From Inside Live, this is exactly what happens. There's plenty of tits <laughs> on like, stage. This, yeah, there's just tits on stage. It's full of tits on stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, we're getting a bit of inside knowledge from Beth here. Bam necked that bottle and the bar staff were staring confused as to what was happening <laughs> yeah because I, I no yeah i well we're changing the subject now but i just bought it and then you called so i just yeah whatever i'm not gonna waste it am i oh me i called you one of you called me to say we're on stage oh, okay <laughs> okay back back yeah. to the Back to the fairness. By the way, so Ella, uh, Ella said uh, it was all about like self love and like celebrating normal bodies and all that. That was supposed to be your answer to what is feminism. How did you not? How did you not get that bit? Don't girl. give me silence. I'm just Don't... a girl. Don't I'm ask me. Just I'm just a girl. girl. <laughs> oh I'm God! Is that... Just a girl in the world. Say... I'm just a girl. Yeah. That's a, that's a really good no doubt impression. Thank you. We might get a copyright strike for that. So good. Can you, can you imagine? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like when I sing at the start. Um, yeah, the feminist event sounds really good. Bam, we should have went because uh, apparently when Ella left, uh, Pony started playing from that Magic Mike film and everyone just started just down. Never seen down, it. Down, oh, the song. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Copyright again. I, yeah. But Bam, do you really think I've seen Magic Mike? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Beth might have made you watch it. Do you think Beth cares about Magic Mike? <sighs> I think I think Magic Mike is a film for like if you're in your for if you're 45 and older, right? <clears throat> it's got to be. I have no idea. It's like Fifty Shades of Grey. Still haven't seen that actually. Am I supposed yeah, no, to see I that? Either. <laughs> Can we I have you buy. seen that? You've seen it. You have of course I've seen it, yeah. It's <laughs> nothing to call home about, no. I I got a uh, word that certain cinemas were put in plastic over chairs during <laughs> putting mop buckets down aisles. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it was ridiculous. Uh, oh, Angela, I've watched both Magic Mike films. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you any good. Like... Worth a watch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should we review them? Just like <laughs> I've done The Shining. Oh, oh yeah, you still haven't watched The Shining, and what what we are now like twenty four. Twenty four. Yeah, so so twenty five weeks because we missed an episode, didn't we? Uh, oh yes, yeah. Uh, when I was dying, I was nearly dying again. Thanks to you, Bam. I you gave me a lurgy. Yeah, you gave me the lurgy, which I wasn't really too happy about. Don't blame me. Booth right. gave me the lurgy the week before. We're, hey, we're friends. We're just sharing it. Sharing. What, what's a bit of lurgy between friends? Everything. Everything's a bit. Oh, apparently they're not that good. Oh, okay. Well, I could have guessed that really. Right. So a few weeks ago, we had uh, Girls X. So me and Bam rated them. Uh, <laughs> kind of an eye opener for the both of us. Wouldn't you agree, Bam? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was on a, I was a, I was. I'm very ickable, I guess. If that's if that's what is that a word? <laughs> Is that a word? I don't know. I don't care. I'm making it up. Ickable. Ickable. Should be. Um, it was. We had yeah, a. Yeah. We had a few. Um. Few of them. To be fair, some of them were were quite funny. Um. It's. We had the one. Um. If he falls over. Uh. If he's got a close relationship with his mum. If uh, the the thought of the uh him flinching at the air going in his eyes at the, oh, i don't his... it gives me the ick but i know that i do the same thing that actually that gives you the ick <laughs> <laughs> just stop thinking you know about what? it just don't think do about you know it what? it's I'm so weird we're up. talking about this because last week i i was like god what am i gonna film for my youtube and then later on that evening i was, I was scrolling on tiktok shop and i found this card game 
get the ick. Does that say get the ick out? Okay. Oh no, it just says get the ick. Sorry. Oh, it's, so, yeah, there's a bar. Says... There's a bar on my screen here. But the... okay, cool. So tell us about tell us about this. And by the way, what is it with you and Chia in TikTok shop? Because it it doesn't. It's great. Make sense to me. It's great. It's amazing. It's so good. Okay. Um, okay. To be fair, I haven't actually looked at it properly and I don't really know how you're supposed to properly play it but I had the idea to just kind of read out a few icks that are on these cards make a video out of it whether or not there might be drinking involved like if you get the ick then you have to do a shot type thing I don't know I it's still a work in progress of an idea but I feel like there's some good plug it plug the YouTube right now Fuck, what's my well my YouTube is literally just Ella Rose Shop. Yeah, yeah, and you did a you did a uh a, a trip to was it a trip to London? Was that night out or something? I what I, I promise you I actually watched it, but I was in the gym at the time whilst I had it on. Oh, that's <laughs> like, cute. So I may have I may have <laughs> missed uh, he was it. pumping iron while watching your videos. No, I was actually on um <laughs> this is gonna sound like really douchey of me, but in the gym now i have an ipad to watch stuff whilst i'm doing stuff on my phone whilst i'm on a bike so like it's just on but like people must walk past me and think this guy needs to get a life he's brought an ipad and his phone he's on his phone but it is what it is like let me just exercise like let me just do it exactly so i had it on because i really like the beginning of it as well uh because it it was really awkward i feel like because you're just filming chi and chi doesn't know you're filming again ready oh that was my first ever video yeah yeah Yeah. so um so yeah so explain why you're doing the youtube channel by the way because you've done you've done social media now for a while so why why youtube um something to fill my time with a little bit more um but i've always i've always i've always wanted to do youtube but i would kind of thought like my life's like not really interesting enough and it probably still isn't, but like people, I've learned that like people are so nosy and they just like watching people do normal shit. Like, well, yeah, like people love it. Um, but I feel like now this year, because I've had so much shit happen at the like, beginning of the year, like I'm just like, no, do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to push for it. I'm going to keep going. And not to suck my own dick but you know i've got a little bit more of a following now like i just thought fuck it let's just add another platform make the money the, get that money in get that place. money in uh so, yeah. oh uh brian's in the chat by the way so so brian is our friend Stars? from the us so not brian stars <laughs> you imagine <laughs> That'd be amazing. It's like, what is you called? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Michelle, guys. <laughs> I uh I'm I missed the uh, intro, guys. Who's the guest? Well, today's guest is Ella Rose Sharp. She came on uh, about 20 episodes ago now, I think it was. Mm. And he's actually just asked, do you have a link we can follow to your channel? Yes, I'll put it so f- in the throw chat. That, throw that in the chat. While that's going on as well, because uh, there's people coming in and out of this, but audio listeners right now on Spotify, uh, Amazon, Apple, Google Podcasts, um i know our podcasts are everywhere else but i just can't remember what they are there is a follow button or a subscribe button or something please hit that and please write us five stars if you can uh it does really really well for our algorithm uh and danny oh right wait danny what right i need i need to ask him a question so bam you said you messaged him he messaged you you screenshot and say are you up for it Oh yeah. This yeah. is gonna be the this is gonna be the first time Beth's hearing this as well. Do I celebrate my 31st birthday in London on the 3rd of May? Do you know what? So I messaged you and you replied saying, What date is it? <laughs> and I was just like, the third of May, like what you on about? And then you were, and then you didn't reply. And I was like, right. what's wrong with him? And then I clicked about three hours later and was like, Oh my god, it's his birthday. I, I, and, he yeah. was, and I was like, he's definitely gone. What day is it being like, it's me birthday? And I just was like... No, oh, I'm not a dickhead. No, no, oh, no, no. Okay. no, no. Right, I'm, not, okay. uh, I'm not a dickhead. Because um, I definitely knew it was your birthday the whole time. No, you didn't. No, You I didn't even know. know it was Eid today. You didn't even know <laughs> what it was. So shut up. Um, Danny thinks I should. Um, 
Now, my only issue with London is, is right, getting there, fine. I'll drive there and back. All good. Do you know how expensive it is to just stay for one night? Like, so, unless, unless there's, uh, Danny, unless you know somewhere where we can uh, come and join us for FaceTime Mad, for, sorry, for FaceTime Madness. Yeah, Danny, unless there's a sofa that I can literally rest my head on, which I don't, pro- like, let's be fair, Beth will be coming with me as well. So unless you can put up two people. Just get like, a hotel for the night for both of you. Dude, do you know how expensive that is? Yeah, like hundred. I pounds. hate it. I did, yeah. <laughs> so I spent, I spent literally the night in Camden in what I can only describe as a fridge size room. Yeah, and it cost me like one hundred and twenty. Yeah, one hundred and twenty quid for that shit. Like I'm okay with spending money, but you, when you spend over a hundred pound, you still think you're gonna get robbed. Like, come on, <laughs> come on. There is there's, there's a lot of hotels in Kings Cross. There's a hotel that's pretty much next door to Scala. Yeah, no, no, the, the location, fine. I'll drive even a little bit outside of London that evening. If that's an even better idea, travel lodge between Bristol and Redden. There you oh. go. Oh, no, sorry, between Redden and London. Uh, uh, Beth, put in the chat right now if you're up for it. Just check our calendar, please. I think of course, the she's, a, she's not boring. <laughs> she'd be like, she'd be like, lad, I'm already there. <laughs> Wait, Ella, is this the one that you were talking about? So you're going to be there? Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be there. Uh, I think we need to throw down at face. I've never been to face down. We've been invited to play it twice now, Bam. <laughs> we will this, play by it. the way, this is nothing against face down. It's just never lined up for us. Yeah, we will play. We've it. been. Do- yeah, we, we will play. We it. have. We have played it before, though. We played it in the past. Yet, yeah, stop bringing up your old band because uh, I wasn't in it, and it makes me feel sad. Anyway, uh, so. <laughs> Yes, Ella, obviously. Just... There you go. Done. Done deal, dude. Oh, okay. So we are doing it. We are. We are coming to. Apparently, we're coming to face down. Um, yes. I'm not boring. Oh, you really got it with that I, one. Didn't I, you? I didn't say you were boring. I said because you weren't boring. I think I it said... says. I think you said because she's boring. I said because she's I, not I... boring. Okay. Well, I heard differently. Uh, anyone see the link to her channel? I still don't see a link. I've literally posted it. Can you uh, guys see it? No, I can't see it. Nope. I just see a heart. <gasps> really? I just see a heart as well. Do we just click the heart? Or do we just click your picture? Yeah, just literally uh, click yeah. on my profile if you can do that. Okay, let's see if we can do that. I don't no. No. I can block you. Um <laughs> or report you. We don't do that. I'll um <laughs> I'll make sure it's in the description of this video when the live ends and i'll make sure i delete it out of it <laughs> just out of pure spite right thank you so when i try it just says report or block yeah it's, <laughs> that's what brian said all right mm-hmm. everyone's just gonna report me fine okay so what, what what's the handle just lro sharp hell yeah it's just lro sharp thank you lol right brian if you still haven't got it we'll put it in the description uh, you can find it out. Right, Ella, I was going to read out a few of the guys' icks. Apparently, guys have icks towards girls. <laughs> whether or not you. Ah, oh, you see, when you're when you're put on the spot, it's a bit different now, isn't it? But <laughs> because because you feel like some of the icks we might have said could have mm-hmm. could affect you as well. This came from our fan base, right? Okay. So some of them are a little bit out there. Uh, mm-hmm. No offense to our fan base, but let's be honest. Uh, if you okay. like our music, you're somewhere on the spectrum. Um, so this is a few of the X, and I'm gonna see if you agree or not. So the first one was leaving the toilet seat up. Wait, this is for for guys doing that. Yeah. So this is whether or not. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, 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 let me reiterate. This is <laughs> what females. What? Yeah. When females get the ick of what guys have done. Right, okay. Yeah, correct. So is it like, do you agree or disagree? Yeah, agree or right. disagree. Agree or disagree. Right, right, right. With you. So, so leaving the toilet seat up. Uh, no, that would just piss me off. It's not ick worthy. Not ick worthy. It would just, I'd just be like, fucking put the toilet seat down. Okay, this is why, this is when I said it's a little bit out there. This is why, this is the next one. Scans a Tesco club card. No, I, I scan a Tesco club card. Get that fucking deals. <laughs> Jeez, scan a Tesco club card. Can you imagine? 
Can you imagine thinking this is the guy of my dreams? Girls. Beep. And they're like, I'm ending this. God. Yeah. Yeah. I love the fact that you would just say girls. Girls, <laughs> come on. Let him buy that fucking whatever for two pounds cheaper, yeah? Yeah, those Life's club hard. card prices. Exactly. Life's hard. Club card prices are fucking sick as fuck. Uh, by the way, we are not sponsored, but I'd love to be sponsored by Tesco Club Card. Um, Bam, would you switch to Tesco Mobile if they sponsored us? <laughs> no. Choose your no. words wisely. Um, I, I would get a new phone contract out, sure, yes. Yes, good, 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 Bam. Um, squeezing his toes in shoes to see if there's room. <laughs> Oh, I agree or disagree? Disagree? What the fuck? What, like, disagree. So if he's like trying on shoes in a yep. shoe yeah. shop? Yep. I oh, you're, you're getting this. You're, you're, you're definitely like keeping up with it. Like you're not confused here. This is exactly what we were given. Yeah. Okay. You see? There we go. All right. No, the it's not a one. Nick. It's not a Nick. Uh, talking about how much money they earn on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. I'll, I'll if you want to, if you want to talk about, if you want to talk how much money you make, then you can pay for it. Ooh. I think that's a dickhead thing to say on a first date. <laughs> uh, the, way, difference, said... the, the difference in me now that I'm single. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a new Ella. Uh, by the way, Angela said, "Hello, I just subscribed to your channel." Uh, yeah, you did. Thanks for that, Angela. We're now um, we're now going to be making uh, a little bit of a percentage off Ella's channel because apparently <laughs> I'm doing all the work for her. Uh, <laughs> and Danny said about the shoes, isn't that just logical? Yeah, Danny, I thought that too. But apparently, there's some women out there that think you're a dickhead. I had I had a big rant about it in another episode, but I'm not. I don't need to repeat all that. You can go watch an old episode. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> This I agree with, by the way. This would give me the ick as well. Being rude to wait staff. Yeah, no, that's gross. That's yeah. an ick. That'd just make you feel so uncomfortable. Yeah, but exactly. Uh, this is one that Bam can do. And I was impressed. So I was just like, why would this give me the <laughs> ick? So this is something Bam can actually do. Dry swallowing pills. Oh, right, okay. You psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed by it. I was like, "Wow!" Do you do like you can? So can you? If you have a headache, you can take like two paracetamols at the same time. No water. Depends how bad the headache is. Yeah. Like if if the headache's like if I've got no water, like obviously I'm gonna choose to have a drink with it. But if I was out in public and I just had like, if I had to buy a, I'd buy a bottle of water. You then. just buy a bottle of water. To be fair, actually, Probably you can do it. I take. Yeah. Um, I take a tablet every morning for like vitamins for my hair, just to make it all nice and shiny. And uh, sometimes I don't they're, have a bottle of water. They have it, so aren't they? Um, the one I've got is very small, actually. But I I know what you're on about. Like biotin's like really big. Yeah. But um, most mornings, if there's no water next to my bed, I will just get it out, flick it into the back of my throat just before I get into the shower. I'm like, but it's so small, like. It, Come on, guys. It's not you could. Deal. I was just about to say, you could just like pop it in your mouth, get in the shower, and just. I, I mean, I, I probably could, yeah. I'd never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Bam's like, Bam's day, put it in his mouth. There's no water when I need it. No, 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 in me, though. I'd like, shower's running. I'd like pop it in my mouth. I'd get into the shower, swallow it, and then open my mouth for the shower, being like, oh, yeah, I swallowed it already. Uh, you, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, you know what I was gonna say. I'm still impressed. I'm still impressed. Uh, this one I kind of get, but I, I, I have done it myself. Uh, eating a Kit Kat like a normal chocolate bar. It's oh like no, I do bar. that. I'm the yeah. psychopath now. Actually, to be fair, Jesus get her off. <sighs> <laughs> I can't be bothered to and eat it one at a time. Just eat both. Just fucking. Just... <laughs> I'm not gonna have a break. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> She won't be told what to do. Feminism. Exactly. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorites because uh, I totally agree with this. When he has a fold up bike. Mm, oh. 
Mm. <laughs> yeah, ick. Yeah, yeah, no, fold up bike, just get a normal bike, man. Can you imagine him? He's got or just his, don't fold his... it up. Just leave he's, it. No, 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 no. Here's, here's your dream man. He's got he's got the cycle uh shorts. Cycle shorts, but underneath he's also got the uh what do you call them? Um <sighs> shit, uh, not spandex. Why the, all I've got in my head is spandex, so I'm gonna go with spandex. <laughs> okay, so he's got the spandex on, which I have used for the gym, but this is where it gets worse. He's got the free quarter length ones, yeah. He's got the skin tight top. With, and it's got like a sponsor on the back because he actually thinks he's in the Tour de France. He's got he's got the bike shoes on and he's got his helmet on with the bike goggles. No, and he's got his fold up bike on the tube. No, no, him? no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Nah, to be I'm fair, sorry. to be fair, that combination screams nonce. So I'd stay away. <laughs> so anyway, next one. Um, putting soap in their hands before they wet them. <laughs> You're confused. <laughs> I I've never done this. It annoys me when people do it, so I get it. But don't just put the soap in your hands. The thing that I'm amazed at is the these are so specific. I would have never. <laughs> they were, thought, weren't they? I've yeah. never. I would have never have thought. God, you know what? The, the thought of a guy putting soap in his hands before actually like wetting them. I did say that I, on the cast. I was like, a lot of these feel targeted. Like, my ex did this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Danny's in the comments. He said, psychopath behavior are those people who pull a bourbon in half and lick the chocolate filling, leaving just a biscuit bit. <laughs> yep. Like, now you're supposed to eat those bits with no nice bit. I, I Who's... I thought that was like a child thing when they pulled the biscuit part. If you're over the age, right, if you're over the age of seven and you're pulling biscuits apart, get a like. Oreo. Yeah, just eat it normally. Yeah. Like, what are you pulling it apart from? And by the way, I'm being very specific there with age. If you're an eight-year-old and you pull an Oreo apart, you're a cunt. Okay? Right? (laughs) Get a life. Right? Or get better parents. All right, here's another one. Long fingernails. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. I can literally vouch for this. Fuck off. (laughs) <laughs> okay, right. Wait a second. I like calm down. Like, Shows your fingernails. Wha- They're yeah, not I'm a short. girl. I'm a girl and a guy. Cut your nails, babes, please. Let's see your fingernails, Aid. Am I okay? Ah, uh, there's too much sausage there. Hang on, I can't see. Get him closer. <laughs> That's fine. Is that okay? Is that all right it's, for you? It's yeah, like, okay, yeah, it's fine. perfect. That's fine. Do you want to see? Do you want to see the other side? Like... Bam, Bam got freaked out by this early. It's the calluses. <sighs> Ick right there. That's an ick. <laughs> yeah, no, cut, cut your, cut your fingernails, man. It's gross. By the way, do you want to talk about specific? This next one was one of my favorite. Uh, putting the strap on a Wii remote, break that TV like a man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, safety first. I'm glad that it said after strap on it. I'm glad it said we remote. So we all understood. Yeah, do you know what? On. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was like, where is this going? Yeah, yeah. Take it like a man, apparently. Um literally. Someone put this one gives me the ick. Lads named Bam. That was very targeted. It's a bit rude that. Oh my god. Uh just swilling people left and right. <laughs> Oh, bam, this one didn't make sense to me. And this is the final one I'll say. Uh, I think it's the final one I'll say if, if we've got no more. I don't know if we've got any more. Uh, laughing at a TV show. What are you supposed to do then? Just some boring bitch, wasn't it? He? he doesn't, he, that's all, that's all, <laughs> that's who it was. Just some boring bitch to put that comment. Doesn't like laughing at anything. <laughs> uh, oh, no, dude, we did have more. Remember grown men who bathe? Uh yeah. Could you imagine Zaid in a in a bathtub? In all my glory. Just me and my callous hands. Oh. <laughs> soaking them, man. I'm soaking them. Uh... I'm soaking them. <laughs> I'm soaking them. Uh <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, oh, this one. Um, to be fair, me and Bam, because I only just learned how to swim last year. So Bam, can you swim yet? Oh, why are you trying to no, I can't swim. Okay, well, you, you won't not? do that. Oh, no, you told me this on Friday. Why, did I, told... why did I bring that up why on Friday? Want... <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, that just, I just got my memory just shocked. 
<laughs> my memory just jogged. We wow. were standing outside the kebab shop, and I can't remember what we're talking about. But you, you've said, "Oh no, I'd never do that. I can't." No, it was the spa. I would never go to a spa because I can't swim. Okay. Oh, I just had this vision of you two talking about something completely different. Like, oh yeah, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit odd these days, you know. Like when, uh, just I, I guess maybe something about like traveling or something kind of just completely music. Yeah, yeah, download look lineups looking pretty good. I can't swim. Uh, Ella, I thought I'd let you know. I'm like a hobbit, big feet, can't swim. Small lad. Um, Bam, We've learned that he's not actually small anymore, though. Hang on, fucking red. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, you are shorter than him. Yeah. Yeah, still, you're both just short, aren't you? Right, here's yeah. the other one. Holding their nose when jumping into a pool. Is that ick worthy? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, because I would probably do the same thing. Hey, we're going to move on to female icks in a second. Well, male icks, I guess. Uh, this one seemed very specific, but it was uh, reposting single dad motivational quotes. <laughs> I, I guess it's like a picture of like Rocky, and it says like, I don't know, uh, only I can, ju only me and God can judge myself would be it. And their caption is, "Can I see my kids now?" I don't know. I don't know what single dads do. Um, uh, when the train starts moving and he stumbles, oh, oh, you agree. Oh, hold on. Oh. That's what the handles are for. That's what, what the handles are for. And uh, finally, and <laughs> I'd say this isn't an ick. This is just something guys shouldn't do. Uh, sniffing his fingers after scratching his balls. <laughs> well done, From Inside fans. You've really taken us to a whole new world. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, oh, by the way, Danny, no, they're not just actually, yeah, that's a very good point. He said guitar playing hands. Oh, yeah. don't... That could be it as well. That could I be definitely... like why yeah, exactly. Not... We've all got fucked, we've all got fucked up hands. Horrible oh. fingers. Me little finger as well, oh. so like fucked. Yeah. Okay, right. By the way, I need to bam. Can you just people tell people quickly about the patreon i'm gonna mute myself because annoyingly i'm still suffering with this cold uh brought on by you so i'm gonna mute myself and you can tell people why they should sign up to the no how much the patreon is and how they can sign up is he muted now yeah he's muted hi guys you okay <laughs> <laughs> as you know we've got a patreon and it's one pound uh, you get absolutely fuck off for signing up for it, if I'm being honest. We are just asking for one pound, so that's £12 a year to support us. And that may get all four of us one coffee by the end of the year. Yes. Yeah, that's we're trying. It. It's gone up in price now, coffees. Um, so what we're trying to do is uh, if we can make at least 20 quid, we should be fine. But when you start adding syrups and extra shots, it's just too much. Uh, so we can't do that. Right. So a Reddit, a Redditor asked uh, in Ask Men, which is, by the way, is a channel I'm going to join. This should be fun. Um, he said, I've heard so many women talking about what gives them the ick. Usually no fault of their own. Exactly. Uh, from men smoking to things like they take baths instead of showers. What are things that have given you the ick? Now, like I said, some of these are a little bit like incelly. So bear with me. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this one was interesting when they talk shit about the people they're dating. Bam, yeah, I'll give him that. Yeah, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" I really, I'm looking to Bam here, see if he agrees with these. I think it's also um, when you talk shit about your best friends as well. Like that's that's in here. That's, that's in here. Yeah, just, just don't do it. Okay, <laughs> right, Bam. Here's another one for you. Then let's see if you agree or disagree. <laughs> Astrology, especially when they blame their horrid behavior on it. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it was a Nick. I'm, I, am I supposed to be answering these or is Ella answering? Yeah, these? no, no, it's not on you. It's the two of you agree or disagree. I'm reacting. Uh, um, no, I don't think it's a Nick. I think it's silly, but I don't think it's a Nick. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> not wearing weather appropriate clothing than bitching about how uncomfortable it is. That just happens. That's not that's not Nick. You just gotta accept that that's a thing. It's just girls. Yeah. It's just girls. It's just girls. <laughs> uh this guy, um this guy put a lot, so I'm not gonna read out the entire thing, but he said some girls are so fucking mean to other girls, like you could normally be talking to a girl, wanted to know her more. Or just I don't know daily stuff and mention another girl and she'd be like her, she is so pathetic and ugly. Jesus Christ, this guy <laughs> talking about being specific. This guy just went in. Um, I'd say that's an ick, but we've kind of covered that. We kind of we kind of covered that. This is becoming very much about behavioral things and not things that they do. Uh, yeah. One guy said if she complains about men on Twitter. <laughs> X, by the way, for anybody who needs to know. Uh, but I'm agree or disagree. Um, I wasn't listening. I was reading the comment. Sorry. What did you say? <laughs> what was the comment? I was reading Danny's comment about his girlfriend. My girlfriend is usually the one who is better prepped for the weather and I'm near who dresses too light and then complains. Haha. Do you know what? Do you know who's really good about guessing the weather and being dressed appropriately? Bam. And we were wondering, we went to the <laughs> we went to the green room on friday me and boo and there was like a bunch of things left in there and i was like right we need to work out which one's bam's jacket because he definitely had one and booth literally went to me he goes it's whatever john snow would wear and i turned <laughs> and i turned and here was this fluffy thing and i was like Wait, and we looked at each other and went bams oh yeah the hoodie yeah okay <laughs> yeah, it's, it's basically, basically there's, there's an ongoing joke now so like whenever we go out so in liverpool apparently i didn't even know this was a thing but if you go out with a coat in liverpool like girls take the piss out of you so no lads go out in jackets or anything which is absolutely absurd in the winter and me not being from liverpool originally so so every time we go out we'd obviously like be wearing like shirts or jackets or whatever. And they'd be like, let's just bin the jackets. Just put them here. Like people can't see that we've got jackets with us. And then, um, <laughs> throughout the, throughout the, and like whenever we've gone on holiday recently, cause it's been cold. I've just got this, like, I don't even know what it is. Like a big fleecy kind of thing that I, you, you know what I'm on about, don't you say like my, that big, like uh, black coat. I, thing do you know what's funny? I thought you only had the one. Turns yeah. Out you have multiple. Right. Yeah. I kept so, on seeing it thinking he's wearing that jacket again. Yeah. Yeah. So I, nope. so, so I kept on going out in that coat. It's just a coat. It looks nice. Whatever. But like the more times you go on it, it was like, Oh, he's got his Jon Snow on him. But like we went to go out on Saturday and uh, it was like, Oh, it's shirt weather. And I just grabbed the shirt and the shirt that i grabbed had like f fleece inside of it and they was just like of course he's always got a bit of john snow on him but then obviously at the show was a different hoodie as well so yeah wait, apparently wait, just stop, like having a bit of like stop. warmth stop you have a shirt with a fleece lining no it's like a jacket oh, it's not it. that my friend is a jacket no, it's a jacket <laughs> but it looks like a shirt kind of thing Ella? a jacket a sh yeah a jacket exactly what it is wow <sighs> if yeah. I'm late again for another podcast, he's gonna have a shack it. Right. Chewing with their mouth open. Someone just commented and went, violence inducing. I hate it so much. <laughs> violence inducing. <laughs> That's right, women. You chew with your mouth open. Oh, Use a no. damn good giraffe is gonna he's, he, he's gonna fist you, right? If if that happens. So sort yourself out. Bam, agree or disagree, chew with your mouth open. Oh, just don't do it. You do it. I, hey, I'm not the girl. Anyone. No one. Sh uh, there's not. I don't think it's a gender specific ick. Anyone shouldn't be doing it. It's disgusting. Mm. Okay. Right. I freak. I, fr I can't deal with like people chewing. Like I can really like focus, like hyper focus on people. Like people, even just like drinking and like hearing them like <laughs> get away from me. Literally get away from me. Oh, I'm a different type. I'm a different breed. I remember um, once someone was sat next to me with a cup of tea and like the first sip was I literally like just like my neck literally went like that and I went no just straight up I was like no don't do that don't do what, that in my hell. What about like at the end of a drink when someone's drinking out like with a straw? It's like Oh like if you get like McDonald's milkshake, yeah, yeah, get yeah. out. Get out of the room. <laughs> get in the bin. 
put yourself the... and the McDonald's cup in the bin. <laughs> I think we might need to bring Danny on for these icks because he's just he's just agreeing. Loud chewing, loud gulps, nope. Can't deal. Can't, Can't deal. deal. Can't deal with it. Um, Bam, agree or disagree? Fake long nails. Careful. No, they're fine. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just want, I just wanted to hold a little bit of suspense there. That's all. Yeah. No, I, I, as long, as long, yeah, as long as it's nice nails. I don't like dirty nails. Um, this is a, this is an ick apparently by uh, Red underscore Balls. Um, <laughs> he says, always being on their phone. Hmm. Agree. Bam. Uh, I agree. I, okay. If if I think if you're like spend specifically spending time with someone, because it could literally you could be meeting someone for fucking two hours, and if they're spending like an hour and a half on their phone the whole time, like it's so rude. Like mm. you should just not be on it. But if you're spending a week with someone, then obviously you're gonna be on your phone at some point. Yeah. Um. This is this was my ick that I said. Uh, smoking. I can't can't do it. Sorry, sorry, girls. Of course, well, I'm I'm not only taken, I am contractually taken. So no one has to worry about me. Uh, but he's also put that and fake tits. <laughs> Cheers, user Mark B. Jones. Jesus. <laughs> See, I've tried to get, I'll be honest with you. When I sell I said in celly behavior, like a lot, I have to like pick out certain mm-hmm. things. Mm. Because some of them, because some of them just say something and then they just go off on one. Um, to be honest with you, there's not much more that doesn't scream incel. Um, so let's find a little bit more about our guest here. All right, Ella, I'm not going to shy away from this. Okay, <laughs> God, I'm going to shy away from this. I have to say it. <clears throat> I'm going to describe your social media in the last couple of weeks as first traps. Okay? Just going to throw it out there. Okay. okay? I need to know. I need to know. And this is throughout your whole social media career. Have you ever had a situation with a guy messaging or girl that just made you feel a little bit uncomfortable? Yes. Okay. Do you need time to think about the situation or can you tell us a little bit more? Um, I can't clearly because legal non-legal but legal reasons. Yes. Oh, it's that bad. Like stalkery, sort of. Oh, fuck those people. Yeah. The reason I bring it up as well is because, bam, I can only describe it as I was groped at our show the other night. Oh, so was I. Yeah. Oh, we, multiple, multiple st- times. I I actually turned around and I said to her, I was like, hey, look, if that was me doing that to a girl, like, I wouldn't stand a chance. I was like, stop it. She was was like, it the, oh, we're talking about the same, she, it, she was saying hair. what we looked like. Did she had blonde yeah. hair? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was just getting a bit too much. Yeah, really. I got sexually assaulted multiple times during our show the other night, and nobody would have and taken you broke me. Your finger. And I broke my finger, and I swilled you, and <laughs> <laughs> too many things. But no one would have cared if I said I was getting sexually harassed. Well, both of us, half the band were getting sexually harassed. The good looking ones. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed to say it. She just wanted I'm a bit of the boys. <laughs> Um, yeah, because like you get you you obviously do. Like I was, I I had to make the the um graphics for the show, and I was like, shit, Ella's getting like a thousand likes on this stuff. And then I kind of I had to just see who is liking it, and there's some some very odd looking profiles on there. If I went through my instagram dm requests right now and just read off a few sticks 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 no oh, i've never read off a few it. never a few there's fucking several like i'm not like there's just i've never been sent a um i've never been sent a dick pic i didn't like so i can finish that with you <laughs> okay. i've never Don't been sent a dick pic in my message request but 
Oh, okay. There is definitely some. We know why that is as well, things. don't we, Bam? Because airdrop, you get better quality. So you do, you try and get close to the person first before you send it. That's what, that's what Bam told me. Anyway. Jesus um... Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've been, I've been sent some unsolicited stuff. I didn't ask for it. I got sent something and the friend and my friend sat next to me was like when he saw it pop up on my phone, my phone was just out on its front right now. And it just he wasn't being nosy or anything. It just like flashed up when we were out. And he was like, I received that same exact message five minutes ago from the same girl. Yeah. I, I also, as a tattoo artist, I will ask for photos of the area that I'm tattooing. And I'll say, like, I'll be like, you know, if I'm tattooing someone's sternum, I'll say to them, Can you send me a photo of you know, under boob, you can wear a shirt, cover you. I don't need to see your boobs at all. Like, you just send me this little, little triangular area above your belly button. And I have full on received just nudes, at, like taken like a MySpace picture, like up. And I'd be like, that's, I can't even draw on that. Like, can you send me another one? And they'd be like, you want another one? And it's like, oh, no, can you, <laughs> can you send me a straight on photograph of your sternum, please? Um, and oh I've had, I've got tattoo mates who have they've all gone through the same thing. But like so, some girls can be a bit thirsty and try try it on doing it that way. They be gulping. <sighs> they they be gulping. They right, be your gulping. your your message request is it is it is it too traumatic to go into? No, we're uh we're, well. Some of them are quite funny, to be fair, and I I do tend to like post the funny ones or like just the really fucking random ones on my close friend story. Um, this is one I got two days ago. It just says, "I'm in love with you." Thank you. Sorry about uh, that. And then someone. <laughs> yeah, I I'll, I'll be honest with you. He was so drunk the other night. Like he told you he, told you he couldn't swim. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Give me, give me, give me some more. Someone else said, uh, kudos for not having an OnlyFans. The most refreshing discovery. So, thank you. Dude went searching. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, in my Instagram bio, I've got the, I've got like link tree. Yeah. So I've got the link. So like most girls will have the like yeah. spicy link in that bit, but you click on it and it's just like my TikTok, my, my YouTube channel, my portfolio for work, my this, my oh. that. And it's just all work, but yeah yeah um someone else said this is one i did share to my close friends because it just it didn't doesn't make sense um you are a nice girl but you don't care to know me so remove me from your blog thanks <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. cheers, cheers that, buddy no no repeat so, that again <clears throat> <laughs> you are a nice girl but you don't care to know me so remove me from your blog thanks but are they following you? Yeah. Rem remove me from your blog. Were they? Yeah. Were they? Were they in there? So I, I don't get what that means. I don't know what blog means, but he's still following me. I don't follow him. I don't know who this man is, but he's called Francis, and he seems like a nice guy. Uh Francis. Yeah, we know Francis, don't we? Francis. Man? Francis. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, we just refer to him as Franny, so it was a bit confusing at first. I know. I know what he means by blog as well. He means life. Just, right. just you to kill him. Right. Um, Fair. I'm a little um, bit disappointed that I'm not in your close friends here. Which I just do it right now. Do, 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 do you see how this is happening, Bam? This she just that, comes this, on this, here. This is how he gets his way. Like he just. This it's, is how no, we get I'm his sorry. Way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't bring it up. She did. It's she like, comes on here. Yeah. We'll get you she live on camera out. and I'll ask you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She comes on here. Oh, that is actually me. <laughs> Well, did you like it? I'm a close friend. <sighs> not, not accepting that shite. I'm anyway. gonna, I'm gonna remove it later. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep me on there. Keep me there. <laughs> Billy Eilish didn't add me into her close friends, even though she added loads of people. Maybe because I'm not following her. Um, but side note, so she did that. She added like a bunch of people into her close friends. Posted about it. She ended up getting sixty thousand new followers in twenty four yes. hours. All that. I mean, she's already got so yeah. many followers anyway. Yeah. How many, so I mean, how, many people, how many people was she putting into a close friends thing? That number hasn't been, but loads of people screenshotting it and was like, I'm in Billie Eilish's close friends. It was enough for it to be trended on Twitter. Yeah. And then, she's... yeah, she gained 60,000. 
or she's just got 120 shy of. million followers. Yeah. And she's not following anyone. That's such a flex, by the way. I like it's such a shit flex. But <laughs> when you're like when you're not following anyone, like the first person I saw do it was Charles Gambino. And I was like, that's cool as fuck. Like you're just following no one. I love the unsigned bands that try and do this. Like, sorry if you're listening, yeah. by the way, and you're one of them. But when you're the unsigned band and you're like, we're following no one. And I'm like, Or like they're only following the band members. Yeah. All oh, right, hang on. We've we've been we've been there, we've done that. Well, I haven't. Okay, you can you know, I, I, nah. I, don't, I don't have control of it. I have nothing to do with the Instagram. And what's happened since I've joined? We are following everyone. You want to be a part of this? Go. I'm like, I'm like throwing eyes at people. Music. Yeah. Yeah. Podcast. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Like that's me. Like, yeah, I can't expect people to be a part of it. Uh, Zade, someone on Monday Night Raw had a sign saying, watch out for Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> I saw an interview the other day. 50 Cent, by the way, who's never pulled punches when it comes to Diddy. Yeah. Literally found out that someone is apparently a part of it. And 50 then saw this guy in real life. And 50 only said these words. He said, I heard Diddy's, I heard Diddy likes fiddling with your ass and walked off. Like, where does 50 Cent get the balls? Like, I love him. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. right. Fun fact. Uh, Steph saw that Billy had done that and asked her if she could come play Hometown Fest and do us a solid. <laughs> Danny, can, can, you need to give me the dates, by the way, of Hometown Fest or what you want us to do for it. Because we need to put that in our calendar. Um, see, I'm just promoting everything on here. Hometown Fest, Ella's YouTube. How much are we getting paid for this, Bam? Yep, fuck all. Mm. one pound on our patreon however, if you want to sign up to it <laughs> yeah however liquid death is very refreshing isn't it bam liquid death are in my very good books at the moment yeah we could definitely yeah my very good books as well we, we can explain that at another time um also like like the video right now that you're watching do it do it now um Okay, have you got any more of these uh, DMs? I feel like I can see the reflection in your glasses. So. Can you? <laughs> yeah. But now I can't see. No, 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 it's <laughs> fine, it's fine. I, it's just that I know you're looking at more of them, so go for it. Um, Talk amongst yourselves, so I need to... Uh... So, Bam, I have... It's not a funny story, but... I ever told you the time that I was groped on stage? Mm, no, I don't think you did. So uh, this was this was uh, a few months before uh, I was on that Young Guns tour because I remember specifically there's a charity called Girls Against and they look after women at shows and they were a part of the Manchester date. Anyway, I didn't know anyone knew about this, but in a London show a couple of months prior, I put my leg up. You know, I put, you know what you sometimes put your feet up on the monitor. Mm-hmm. I put my feet up and this photographer thought it'd be a really good idea to grab my penis. Uh, like what? And when I tell you... She took you... a photo as well, so it was just like... <laughs> no, no, no. She was drunk. Oh, she was no. drunk and like a few of her friends were there and she and she was like grabbing it. Anyway, this is... Uh, th- like this happened. I say it, it was got to be less than a week that someone then did it to Harry Styles at a show. Like he was like about to crowd surf and he was grabbed and it was on camera. You started a trend. <laughs> did I just, right? So um, they in- they actually caught wind of this situation. I don't know how, but I remember that night being so annoyed because not only am I on stage in front of a load of people, but no one bat- not, not only did like no one bat an eyelid, but people found it funny. Yeah. And I remember getting off stage, going straight to the van and just sitting there. And I was just annoyed. Yeah. And I was just like, this does not make any sense to me. Like this is 2017 as well. Like that Me Too movement was going crazy. And I thought, why does this not make, like, why can't anyone be like, hang on, she should be, she, <clears throat> like security should at least do something there. Yeah. What are we supposed to do, by the way, as like guys, like we're like, when that, that girl literally had her arm around me, like holding me, like, like, she was squeezing me at one point uh, the other week at the our London show, the one we, we were talking about. What are we supposed to do in that situation? Because I want to be like, oi, fuck off. I do. But at the same time, 
like this girl probably has the power to go online and say how bad from inside our people and like that comes across like really bad for us mm. what do we do what do we do so i've made this really serious here yeah no i don't know i just like i well like what i said to her i was just like can you stop doing that please um i've actually got a little story well i say a little story i um what year was it it's actually the video was on youtube as well because it was like live on tv and i it was like a it was a set that we did with some with a band i was in at the time and um at one point i'm like stood on a speaker system just off stage and i'm wearing hot pants hot pants running shorts whatever and a girl oh, i'm, I'm just, going a bit red she just she just pulled me pants down <laughs> like I, but like i was still i was still i was still wearing <laughs> no my boxes were still on but like right. she just pulled down me stuff and i was just like nice one that's so. that yeah you see see that shit just shouldn't fly yeah that's it just with anyone with with anyone right we're gonna get ella then to to finish off here on one more one more happy note uh, before we let everyone be for, for <laughs> what's Eid, the video the called? <laughs> oh my god! Should we actually? You know, you know what? Okay, if you can find my personal YouTube channel, there's a playlist at the bottom of it, and it's the full set. And it's I don't know what song it is, but I I think it's the last song on that set. But you you see me like get kegged. You can see me pull me pants back up off stage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you're the like you're, the, you're there like me. Yeah. <laughs> it's during like a running like off a, of your it, it's like there's like a rave going on like while we're on it's like a big build up before okay. the breakdown and i yeah this girl just fucking what's the um what's the playlist called <laughs> oh my god here she goes <laughs> um i think it's called by the way <laughs> can i just say something never never question a girl's ability to find something online I know, a hundred percent. Yeah, we've seen it in real life, and we're just like, "What the hell haven't we done?" We're just if, like, "What I, the I, fuck?" What I will say though is, if I was a girl talking about this right now, and it was a bunch of guys asking for that playlist or that video, wouldn't go down well. But I'll tell uh, you, it's called. Uh, already found <laughs> <the channel. laughs> no, um, <laughs> uh, my YouTube. I think it's just Bam Roberts. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, are you okay? Are you want it? Yeah. But. You commented on my YouTube video okay, oh, okay. yesterday, so yeah. I literally oh have it. Oh my god! Boom. Okay, so, uh, all right. So g scroll to the bottom, and this should yeah. be like a, I think there's like two or three playlists. Mm -hmm. I think it's called "Burn the Skyline." Yeah. Something. Yeah, I think oh, it's the old band think, names are the best. I think it's the I think it's the last the last um video on that set. I'm not too sure. I'd have to have a look. But I think it's that. I think it's that one. Okay. Yeah. Good content for. <sighs> For the gram. For the gram. For the gram. For the gram. Um, right. If people found it then. Right. We'll go to the, uh, we'll just... also go to the final, the final um, DM, let's say. Well, I'm hoping you've saved the best to last, but don't worry if you haven't. To be fair, I feel like Instagram kind of like deletes really old messages. So it's gotten rid of all the, the really weird ones, but. Friday, last week, at 21 minutes past three in the morning, someone called Michael Lee. And he looks like this, bless him. Okay, uh, for anyone, for are the we, audio are we, listeners. Sorry, sorry, are we judging someone on their appearance? I'm just want to make that. Is that? Yeah. yeah. Look, you, know what, what like. you know what, Bam? You know what, Bam? 100%. <laughs> he, 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 he looked like Santa. If, if Santa and Hepatitis had a child. Okay, that's what he looks like. So go on. So, um, it's the fact that he didn't even. So I re recently posted a picture of me wearing a t-shirt, and it says "small boobs, small tits, or whatever it is, and big heart." He didn't reply to that story. He replied to just a video of me doing my normal like get ready with me things. He says, "You're cute." Dot dot dot. Breasts aren't everything. <laughs> dot 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 you're beautiful i was like dude you could have like <laughs> come on now come on oh my god it's like 
Uh, right. I know days. they're small, but come on now. Let's. Hey, hey, you talk about backhanded compliments. The, the first and only time uh, I went to, there's a gay club in Bristol called. Oh my God. I, I can't even. Uh, it's by the Oto Academy. If someone's listening right now, they'll be able to tell me um, who knows Bristol quite well. And it was like a work after thing. Uh, and I walked in and I, within the first, I'd say five minutes, a guy comes up to me and goes, you're hot, but you're not my type and walked off. That's and uh, I was like, brilliant like oh, is this is this you. what happens yeah <laughs> teacher you. tell you yeah like is yeah. this is this and that was my first gay club experience uh tell you never gone back because i don't i don't like being told great things and then bad things it's called a shit sandwich isn't it when someone does that to you yeah it's good bad but right the final thing i want to go on uh is a great little story here uh talking about what women can do so uh, a woman searching for her husband who ghosted her and her children was able to be tracked down in a matter of hours thanks to the power of the internet. So in a post on Facebook that has since spread across social media, a mother of two, her name's Ashley, revealed that she was married to a British man named Charles Withers. Uh, she explained last year when I was pregnant with our youngest baby, he decided being a husband and a dad wasn't the lifestyle he wanted anymore. And he ghosted me like gone without a trace. What a man. Anyway, <laughs> he has one baby he hasn't seen in over a year and one he's never met. He's moved somewhere out of state and changed his phone number. Ashley then revealed she was, she's was she been trying to divorce him, uh, but it was proven difficult to do without the other party present. Of course, you can't just divorce someone by yourself. Uh, so she turned to the internet and tried to track him down so she could finally get a signature, right? So she's even made um, she's even made like a, a TikTok or someone made like a TikTok video. Um, it went viral uh, uh, around 14 hours after she, she, she posted it, asking people to locate him. Right. And what is amazing about this entire thing is he was found, like I said, in a matter of hours. And let me get this thing here right now. It turns out he's a chef in London. Yeah. This is him with his his new missus right there. But he's also been on TV. <laughs> so he was able to be tracked. Something to do with like MasterChef or something, I believe. He was been, he was able to be tracked within hours. Yeah. And that, my friends, is the power, not only the power of the internet, but the power of women on the internet. Because girls just started making TikTok videos saying we're looking for this man. And that was it. So with that being said power of the internet we've got two days before our new single comes out it's called when you cry guess what it's about sad things unfortunately about war something to do with my dad's home country in libya and me as a child seeing horrible things but what do we want bam we need people to pre-save it now because i'm forcing ella to do things today ella is going to make a story about this ella okay because you seem to brag about your social reach because you were like not sucking my own dick but really you were okay so yeah. I happily suck my own dick. Okay. I want to see how much power you actually have. Because according to the great people at Eric Records, not dropping names, but Bama, we're dropping names? We're dropping no. Names. Come on, let me do it. Uh, they, this, they, yeah, exactly, too late. <laughs> this is the first time we are distributing through a label. We're not signed, by the way. We're just using their distribution. And they told us, because let's be honest, Bama, have we ever really fixated on pre-saves? We had one conversation about it before for Let Me In, right? Yeah, we, we did it for Let Me In, but I don't think we bothered yeah. with this. No. Turns out, apparently, the more pre saves you have, the more likely you are to be editorial playlisted. And bam, what have we never been? Editorial playlisted. Never been. Now, so I've been harassing people left, right, center. Even got my mum to do it earlier, by the way. Uh, don't worry. she's uh, She didn't mind doing it. Uh, but... Turns out she's on Instagram. Wasn't even following our account, Bam. What like, Come on. a beautiful hey. woman. You. <laughs> you. She's, sh she's shorter than you, but she's got a stick now. I said she, she was a beautiful woman. Videos. Yeah, good. She might be coming to that Bristol show of ours on the boat. Great. Um, oh I can't God. wait. Her on a boat. That's, no, that's unsafe. Also, that's... can you stop calling me in a group chat with your mum? 
Because why is that a thing? No, I find it. Every, so time, basically... every time you FaceTime me, it's in a call with your mum. <laughs> So, <laughs> right, Ella, this is going to make sense. Do you have an iPhone? Yes, I do. Yeah, of course, you're not a hermit. Um, so uh, I was on the phone with Bam, and Bam said something mean about my mum. So about telling him, I just added her into the call. Uh, it took about two minutes for her to realise what was going on, and then it took another minute for her to find the remote so she yeah, could turn down what she was listening to. But um now when she goes to ring me she just goes to like the previous conversation or like the previous like call she's had on facetime and clicks it but it rings bam oh is it, so is it your mum ringing not you it's it's my mum ringing that's amazing and then she that. realized what's happening while she does this i i can't see it of course but i imagine she moves the phone away from her face like that Such and then she sees thing. your name yeah and then she she turns it off oh she, she, uh, saved, but, she saved my number is she she's my name no, I do. Oh my god, I actually should. I'm save gonna. I, I should save a number. number as well. Ummy. Yeah, save it. Save it as Ummy. Uh, Danny said, "Can we get all the mums on an episode?" Uh, my mom, mom would on. not come on here. Why not? That she just would not. Milestone. Okay. Do you remember when, when I we reach all that time? Yeah. When we when <laughs> we reach a hundred k followers on here on subscribers, yeah, we get our mums on. I mean, I, I, think, I, I don't I think, think she'd do it. Do it. I've, 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 I've actually got a thing. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> I've got a thing that, uh, that. If, if, like, when we play, like, Download Festival, like, next year, slot, I'm taking my parents and they're both, like, coming on stage with me. Like, that's, like, something yeah, I've always wanted to do. Like, be like, right, just... mom, dad, parents are on. you're coming on stage with me. Look at this. Do you know what parents would definitely do it? George's. Yeah. Oh, oh, definitely. <laughs> George's mom would be on like she'd be on stage throughout the whole set just dancing. Yeah. George, we don't we would we will have to tell our parents Fuck you, what Debbie. To do and how to be a Yeah. I, right. I so George, oh, are you gonna tell it? Oh. oh no, no, you can tell it, but all I wanna say is as soon as we get announced for like a download festival, for somehow George's mom will already be on the stage, not even built. She'll yeah. just be there. Right. Yeah, no, tell, we, tell the story. We, we, played a, we played a show in Liverpool um last year. And uh I mean we were all bevied anyway, but like I can't, some apart from Zaid, obviously. Because he's a virgin. But um we we, we were on stage and what well, something happened and I was like, Where's Debbie? Because obviously she George, went to get a drink. George's mom is always like the rowdy one in the crowd, and I was like, Where's mm -hmm. Debbie? And like we couldn't see it, and like George's cousin was like, "Oh, she's at the bar," so I just went, "Fuck you, Debbie!" And then the whole crowd started just going, "Fuck you, Fuck. Debbie! Fuck you, Debbie!" And she could hear it outside, like yeah. It's like she came, she came running in like a like a like a mama bear, like you were after her cub. Like she came, she came in like a beer in both hands. She was pissed, and then and then she had a go at me for it because she thought I started it. Because when she came in, I'm on stage going, fuck you. <laughs> in. She thought it was Bam. No, so she thought it was me. She didn't know it was Bam. So I had to explain. She goes, she goes, say, I actually really like you. Like she thought I was being serious as well. With the fuck you. I was like, because it's the first time I met any of their parents. I was just like, I'm I, like, I, no, I do. And it was Bam, by the way. Oh, never mind. No, never yeah, she came over right. to me. She was like, ooh, you. I was like, <laughs> your mind. No, no, no. Even though, even though I don't think you're the tallest man on earth, she definitely came over and went, Ew, you, you, because she's like, <laughs> yeah. you, you. <laughs> but for the same, for the rest of the night, we just kept on quoting Eminem because then we realized it was, fuck you, Debbie. Yeah, I like, didn't we even know. Like, I had no idiots. idea. I'm like, I had friends there from work and they were like, nice Eminem throwback. And I was like, what are you on about? And they were like, fuck you, Debbie. And I was like, what the hell's that? didn't i had no idea so yeah. that's how bevved you were right we're gonna end it here uh one final thing for the video watchers um i've i realized this earlier but bam take a look at this yeah what am i looking at right look at me look at me take yeah. a look at this what happens right now like a so pleasing. Like how pleasing. that is isn't it like it's just one it's just one ring my hair uh this one is ring to um yeah this is just my hair when it curls uh, which it just does and put it back that's that's it there
Right. Uh, one final thing before we go, please hit that subscribe button. Also, go and follow Ella's YouTube. Um, I'm looking forward to her reacting to more X on her channel. Uh, Bam, should we appear on her channel at some point? Probably not. We're much bigger on YouTube than she is. Um, so, uh, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, we like helping. No, people. we should. We should. We were saying last time on the podcast that we should all like get together and just do like what they're called. They're like. Are they called a mukbang or like mukbang? Oh my god, yeah, the eating one. Right, do you yeah. want to try? Can we please? Want to try a we're gonna have to find one in London though, aren't we? For the next time we're down. So there's one in Liverpool, which is the calzone challenge that we're gonna do. But we need to find a food challenge in London, which that shouldn't be too hard. And we should just try and do it and we should film that. Okay. How good are you at that kind of stuff? Uh I uh, no, terrible. I was gonna try and like big myself up but i know i'm gonna be terrible i think I me and bam best, though. yeah me and bam are gonna be moderate i reckon booth's gonna fail like he's just he, i think it's gonna be all in his head and he's, yeah. he's just gonna fail at it see no George i think it's gonna I, be amazing i think i think me and booth would be the opposite there i actually think booth would be really good at it because he can put down a lot of food i've gone i've gone like the opposite way over the last couple of months so i don't know really? I, i'm a bit worried that i wouldn't be able to do it because in my head, I'm like, definitely could do it. So, yeah. yeah, that's why I've been holding off. I've been like, guys, can we not do it this weekend? Can we do it next time? Uh, I get it. You're a pussy. Anyway, moving on. Uh, no, no carbs before my abs. Like, that's, that's what oh, I yeah. Oh, yeah. No carbs before my abs. i in two months. Two months? Two months? I'll be going, um, we're going in we're June. We're going to we? Santorini in three. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to San we're going to Marbella a week before his wedding. Like we're literally doing Marbella and Santorini in the space of Wild. like ten days. Yeah. Uh, by insane. the way, Ella, this it's is the type. Of, this is the type of thing that I move away. But I'm just like, I'm, I'm okay, guys. Like, you, you do your thing. I've got a cat at home. You're coming, aren't you? Not to Marbella. Oh, not, well, you're not no. Oh, uh, okay. No. Do you, do you understand how much Santorini's costing? I, I know. I know. Have you added as, this as as a bam? You're single. As a single man, I uh, I thought I'd say because you didn't say it on this episode for once um okay let me let me put man, it this way as I'm, a single man it's costing you double <laughs> yeah, it's costing me double to go yeah basically yeah. basically yeah yeah i can split things with beth and um george of course is splitting things with Rianne. so yeah i'm so yeah. sorry i'm so sorry bam mm -hmm. um yeah it'll be a good week oh, it should be it should be it should be a great week um other than that guys please look out for our tour announcements um i can't wait the thing that we got we got two things that i'm very much looking forward to uh we've got a show announcement and then some of that we're getting to be a part of so uh we'll be announcing those uh sometime soon uh if you want to see us in person uh on the third of may apparently i'm going to face down now so that should be nice um and now. then yeah, i've said it i've said it. i gotta go through it but i've said it um and other than that please pre-save our brand new single when you cry uh it's going to be coming out on friday you're going to get a little bit of a preview of the video uh tomorrow which is really cool uh and then it is out on friday bam sorry before before i know you wanted it wasn't it supposed to be getting premiered tomorrow is that not a thing i feel like you oh were saying my... i feel like oh you were saying was you not saying that to me last week danny are you still watching <laughs> danny if you're still watching please get in touch with me like i need to sort that right other than that ella final words from you what have you got to say what have you got to say for yourself uh women are great Right, by the way, that right there, amazing. But tell me who else is great. Be a people person. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Not many people, to be fair. No, I've, I've got to be honest with you. The world is uh, full of assholes. And yeah. um, I might be one of them, but at least I'm honest about it. So, yeah, it's the difference. The difference. That, that is a difference. Right. Eid Mubarak to all my muslim brothers and sisters out there i hope you're enjoying today uh we will catch you next week uh hopefully me and bam will have more things to scream and shout about i'm sorry that we're not playing birmingham on friday but like i said brand new single when you cry comes out friday please pre-save it uh you guys have been absolutely beautiful and we'll see you next time we are from inside and we are out